Okay, so this is going to be a review of the Razer Viper Mini. Um, I I will get into a sound test in a second. Be patient. Um, I did main this mouse for a very long time since it came out, actually. <clears throat> uh, I was going to actually make a video comparing it to the Ultralight 2, but I decided I originally bought an Ultralight 2. It got to me, but the scroll wheel was completely messed up, so I decided not to get another one, and I got a Ponage Ultra Custom. If I don't like the cheaper wireless super light that's coming out, I'm just going to go back to the Ultralight 2. So yeah, I did say there was going to be a video on that, but there's probably not going to be, unless I go back to the Ultralight 2. But anyway, onto the Razer Viper uh, Mini. It's 58 grams. It comes in at 58 grams. Um, $40 and use a 3359. I am going to unplug the mouse, but this is the RGB. It's nothing special. You can change it in Razer Synapse, but you probably shouldn't download Razer Synapse. It's terrible. Uh, um, okay. As I was saying, the right and left click are, this is the sound test. Side buttons. Scroll wheel. DPI. So the right and left click are pretty mushy, um, but it's nothing that should make or break your mass experience. They are optical, so you're kind of asking for it. Um, so yeah, they do have a a decent amount of pre and post travel but it's not the end of the world the side buttons the top side button is extremely nice and crispy but the bottom side button is terrible you can push it into the shell like here do it this way literally into the shell I'm making go even farther than that but I'm not going to break the mouse scroll wheel a lot of people do love the scroll wheel I don't like it uh, I think it feels kind of cheap. Uh, I do like looser scroll wheels a lot, but the scroll wheel, I don't know. It's just not my favorite. I do like the click on it, though. It's a solid click. It's pretty hard to click in. So, yeah. <clears throat> the, mouse feet on this, the mouse feet on this mouse are completely terrible. If you're going to get this mouse, you're going to have to put an extra feet. Um, I can, you can confuse some of this now. They're extremely scratchy. The scratchiness is coming from this right here, this little plastic ring. I don't know why they didn't put a mouse gate on it, but you can definitely feel it on your mouse pad. Even the mouse feet themselves, the BTFE feet, are not very good. Um, I am really throwing it. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. I'm really throwing it to get it this far. I know a lot of other mice that would go way farther with that amount of force. Under the coating, and that'll get onto the shape. The coating is a matte coating, it's just like a PBT keycap, except this version of it collects a ton of finger oils, more than the Viper and the Viper Ultimate. Um, like, like my mouse is becoming shiny. Uh, it was not the shiny when I bought it, just so you know. And the sides do get quite a bit of grease you can see from that angle and I don't know why my fingers are orange they're not actually orange I promise you my fingers are not orange um why are my fingers orange I don't know and I don't have like that color in my fingers either like anyway I would give the overall mouth so far like a C plus the clicks are like a C overall all the buttons are like a C the shape people hate when I say this but I think personally it feels the hump feels like a G Pro wireless in a if they if in a small hand so like a, a, a razor viper mini if a small hand holds a razor viper mini I think the hump if you're clawing it feels like what a larger hand would feel with a G Pro wireless if you're understanding what I'm saying the mouse doesn't feel the same the back flares out and the razor viper mini and the front flares out Cheaper wireless is just like a like egg like potato thing. Um I do like how the front curves out. Um, but I feel like this is a very fingertip orientated shape just simply because the back is not comfortable for your pinky. 
I have very small hands and I can't get comfortable clawing it. I've clawed smaller mice like the ultralight too. I was extremely comfortable with that mouse. Uh, so yeah, overall, I mean, the shape is, is it's a solid shape. I, I do wish the back flared out a little bit more, but it's not the end of the world because most people are going to be fingertip gripping this mouse. And I do feel like it's a very good fingertip mouse. <clears throat> the latency on this mouse, they say it's a total mouse latency of six milliseconds. The cheaper wireless comes in at six, at 12, uh, 13 milliseconds, I'm pretty sure, or 14. The Razer Viper Ultimate comes in at about 12, I'm pretty sure. And this comes in at about 6, is what they say. There's no click latency, they say, but I don't think you're going to really notice it. These, This mouse is also going to not be for people that play games like Minecraft, where you need high CPS, because you're not going to be able to double-click this mouse. Double clicks are impossible with this mouse because they're optical and they're activated by a light beam. So yeah, for forty dollars though, I do think this is a really good mouse. The build quality of this mouse is extremely good. There's no flexing anywhere on this mouse. I could throw it at my wall and there'd be no dents on it. I am concerned. I'm convinced there'd be no dents. So yeah, overall, I think this mouse is a solid option. Um, the cord, as I said is probably one of the weakest points. I really think they could have done a better job. Um, but three things I do like about this mouse would probably be the um, coating. I do enjoy the coating. It's not for everybody, but it's a solid coating. The second thing would probably be the side buttons. I do like how they're positioned a lot. I do like where they are. They're in the perfect place. Um, although they, need, they do need to get the backside button <clears throat> fixed. It's happened on my other model too. Um, I would say the main thing I do like about this mouse, I do overall enjoy the shape. I do overall. Um, I do aim probably the best with this shape out of all of my mouse mices, probably because I've used it the longest I've used it since release, but yeah. Three things I don't like about this mouse is that the clicks over time do get mushier. At least in my experience, <clears throat> the cord obviously is just terrible, and you can't really paracord this mouse because when you open it up, uh, it's one of the hardest mice to paracord, so you're kind of stuck with a stock cable. Um, the second thing would probably, or the third thing would probably be the feet, but I don't even think that's the biggest issue. I just think it's it's the feel of the buttons overall. I think they could do a little bit better. Um, not even the right and left click. I think the right and left click are fine. If they tensioned them a little bit more to make them have a little bit less post travel, that'd be good. But the side buttons, the feel of them are just not very good. And the scroll wheel does have a pretty nasty sound. So overall, for $40 though, this is a very good mouse. And you do, in my opinion, I do kind of feel the lower latency. Um, it just total mouse latency it's not in the clicks it's just movement wise i think one of these reasons are because it does keep a stable 1000 polling rate 1000 hertz polling rate um, that was one of their main claims and i have tested it in the Zowie polling rate tracker and it does sustain a 1000 hertz polling rate um, other mice do dip to about 800 so yeah when your usage in your computer goes up so yeah overall this is a good mouse. I would probably give it like a 7.6 out of 10 in an overall budget. Um, but in a budget circumstance, if I can get this thing plugged in, I would give it a solid uh, 9.3, I think, because I think for $40, you can't really beat it. For $40, this is an amazing mouse. And yeah, I, I yeah. I've seen people switch from the Jeep Pro Wireless to even the Razer Viper Ultimate to this mouse. So yeah, overall, I do quite like this mouse. Um, I will have a Ponage Ultra Custom review coming soon because, I, like I said, I did not end up getting a second Ultra Light 2 after my first one came defective. If I don't like the new Jeep Pro Wireless Super Light that's coming out in November, I will get the Ultra Light 2. I, I really did my hand did fit into that mouse but 
um, in the end I do kind of prefer a little bit of a medium sized mouse um, or I, I prefer really small mice um, or medium sized mice it's a whole complicated thing but I will have a Huntsman mini purple switch review coming out soon since my matrix had an issue and they are sending me a new one so yeah peace